In the southern part of South America lies one of the last intact ecosystems on the planet, Patagonia, and it is threatened. Proposed mega hydroelectric dams promise to bring destruction and industrialization to this pristine land. The Chilean people do not want this archaic technology. 74% oppose the dams. But that's not enough, because Chile no longer owns its nation's water rights. The former dictator sold them to multinational corporations for a quick profit before leaving office. Under the consortium Hydro Asen, these corporations are working tirelessly to get these dams constructed. I'm James Q. Martin, a photographer and filmmaker with a passion for travel. After visiting Patagonia and hearing of the planned dams, I journey back, camera in hand, to explore the issues, talk to the people, and examine potential alternatives before it's too late. In the last episode, we looked at the people who would be directly affected by the dams. This week, we will look at how these dams, if realized, would ruin the pristine beauty and tranquility of Patagonia forever. Territories like Patagonia are becoming scarcer by the day all over the world. And as we all know, scarce things become more and more valuable. Don Julio's question resonates with me. To know the fragile ecosystems of Patagonia and to know that they could be drowned brings me back to my own country, where dams are abundant and drinking water straight from lakes and rivers is almost unthinkable. The thunder of man's determination to conquer the Colorado reverberated between the sheer cliffs of Black Canyon as construction got underway. Down that river to the, sea. the United States is the birthplace of the large dam movement. Over the last hundred years, the dam industry has strangled over half of the Earth's major rivers with more than 50,000 large dams. These dams have displaced tens of millions by flooding huge areas and have wreaked havoc on these richly diverse ecosystems. The Colorado River felt the reins of man's control. We have begun to realize the consequences may outweigh the benefits. Finally, some of our major dams are being removed in an effort to restore our damaged watersheds. But it's not just the dams that the people are worried about. It's the environmental destruction and the industrialization they bring to intact ecosystems like Patagonia. And then there are the power lines. The construction of the world's longest transmission line would cause irrevocable damage to the land. Hay una linea interna que va entre las centrales eléctricas hasta Baqueruno, eso es ahí cerca de Cochran, okay. eh, y ahí la transforman de energía alterna en electricidad continua, en una línea continua que pasaría por acá hasta, hasta Puerto Montt, Puerto Varas, y ahí no se sabe todavía qué quieren hacer. ¿Cómo vamos a poner represa acá y la energía se va a ir hacia Santiago? Eh, es algo loco. ¿no? Si nosotros destruimos la Patagonia, si nosotros ponemos una represa, probablemente vengan más represas. Newer technologies are teaching us that dams are not the only answer. We know the effects of mega hydroelectric power from its history in the U.S. What would it take for Chile to gain its energy independence? Join us in the next episode when we look at Chile's renewable energy sources, arguably some of the best in the world. <laughs>